10 Network and the Fox Sports app. Ranked second in the country, undefeated Jared Franick. And Peyton Robb, 14 and one, ranked number three in the country for the Cornhuskers. Something has got to give TJ in this matchup. Robb and Franick, they split last year, like you said, and the last time it hurt. And of course, Peyton Robb, we found out later, was uh, uh, you know getting into a position of uh, sickness that he didn't know what was going on. And uh, we'll see if that makes a difference here. But Franick, he can he can um, hold his own. Yeah, Peyton Robb spent 13 days in the hospital following the national tournament last March. And we will have our on the mat feature with Peyton Robb coming up at the intermission following this matchup. No bonus points scored by any wrestler up to this guys. point. Each team has won two matches, 6-6 six, six on the team scoreboard. Really important for Rob to get it on his offense. That's, again, it's kind of like Ridge Lovett there. That's where he uh, really uh, deals is when Center, he keeps his offense up. Frantic, very hard to score on. He keeps great position, stays in the Work center, middle, guys. does a nice job of knowing where he's at, and then he can pull the trigger and uh, put you down for three. Peyton Rob, the Big Ten Finals, fell to Levi Haynes of Penn State, three guys, to one in sudden victory. Frannick, a three-time Big 12 finalist for the Bison of North Dakota State, won the conference title last March in Tulsa. Even matchup anticipated here at 157, no score, 60 seconds in. I need you in the middle, guys. Rob, like Lovett, has a lot of weapons. Frannick, he's a, not flashy, but he's really efficient. And then when he gets on top, he's, he's really tough. So the takedown in this match is so important. Both guys shoot in exact same time, each with an underhook. We got. We uh, busted up, got a little blood there. Hold on, we got. Uh, with the headbutt. Battering Rams. Yep. Peyton Robs, mom and dad, Tracy and Carrie. Peyton Robb from. Oh, it's time Minnesota was a four-time state finalist, captured the title three times in his sixth year, three-time All-American. Sixth last March in Tulsa, he was fourth in Detroit in 2022. Just has had a very solid, consistent career. Both of these teams have a little bit of a Minnesota pipeline. And as I was looking at the map, uh, Owatonna, uh, Casson is uh, where uh, uh, the Pat Patrick uh, Kennedy um, is uh, from. And Patrick Kennedy, yes. A and then um, Glazier is from uh, Albert Lee, and they're all is a little triangle there, and they're actually closer to the Iowa border than they are to Minneapolis. And so both these teams like to uh, get into uh, Minnesota country, and it's been good to them. Wrapping up his head. As I mentioned, Peyton Robb, kind of a scary situation, a very scary situation. Spent 13 days in the hospital. And it's great to see him back. There's a shot of him. Teammates on hand, I know that's Bubba Wilson. His mom, Carrie. Okay, Peyton's good. got the head wrap, he's good to go, gives a hand slap to his opponent, Franick, and we're back at it midway through the first period. Front headlock position here for Rob. Now Franick front headlock. Bounce him! Bounce him! It's a big match in this duel meet here at 157. Right now, Franick has made about four shots to Peyton Robb's one, and that front headlock, even though it was only for about 20 seconds, that works on you, works on your core, works on your back, and so uh, it's really important to make your presence known, and so far, Franick could oh, right shot. in. There's the offense that he had needed to have. Oh! oh. Neck wrench from Franick. Keeps it scoreless. Hey, the basics are always going to uh, prevail, and those guys, the fundamentals, you saw it right there. And now the challenge brick comes in from Nebraska corner. You talk about guys that are dangerous. And if you slowed that down, you, you would find that they had their hips to the ground, and they were in great position the whole time. It looked like a wild scramble. 
Nice Lyle job. Yep, under hook. Yep, and drops his level, comes up, and as he trips down, all right, then good neck wrench there, and instead of getting rolled over, comes into that tight whizzer, squares up. Great scramble by those guys. Looks like uh, Rob has it right here, and as he goes, the neck wrench right there, and he could have rolled over, and Rob might have had three and more, but Frannick did a great job of squaring up. See the Nebraska corner with Mark Manning, Brian Snyder there in the middle with Cervell DeLognev, Pete Mankiewicz and Angel Rivera reviewing the video. I don't believe anything's gonna change here. I mean, with reaction time, I don't think there was ever any control. Right, and uh, there is reaction time, and I think that's uh, by the book. Now, if Nebraska loses this challenge, they are out of challenges for the remainder of the dual meets. There's Terry Brands. At the further review, the call on the mat stands. There is no takedown. Call on the mat stands, no takedown. Hold on, guys. So Nebraska, no more challenges in this dual meet. Scoreless in the first. That was a fun flurry, but nobody able to score. Working off the elbow was Frannick. Both these guys extremely physical in the hand fight. Down to 15 ticks. And Frannick does a really nice job of, that we talked about of keeping that position. Rob has gotten into the leg one time. Frannick escaped out of that without giving up three. So Rob with the choice. He'll defer. Green takes bottom. And the Hawkeye will go on bottom. Jared Frannick, TJ. Two-time NCAA Elite 90 set, Award set, winner. Cover. That is given to the highest cumulative GPA of any competitor at the national Four. tournament. One. He's won it twice. That is incredible. And he's such a great wrestler as well. Comes very close to getting on the podium three times instead of one time. Lost to the number one seeded guy two years in a row. Came down to the last second. But the resilience of him, these two guys, talk about resilience. Well, we talked about Peyton Rob coming back from. A lot of Frannick coming back from yes. deep heartache from coming so close and then getting on the podium last year. You just love to see it, the, the resilience of the elite wrestlers like Rob and Frannick. After winning that Big 12 title, Frannick was a four seed at the national tournament, finished fourth. As you said, the previous two seasons fell in the blood round. Those leave a mark, those losses. Those scar you a little bit. Get out in the fingers, quarters, guys. he was ahead of uh, Ryan Deacon um, as a freshman, the number one seed until the last second when Deacon beat him and then he fell into the blood round. And so, uh, heartache. David Carr was the other one in the blood round the next year. So, he knew that he had what it took and he proved it last year. Jared Frannick, and now in the Hawkeye singlet, they're very glad to have him. There, nice shot. job. Got the double trouble, got the stalling, and three points. Huge three-point takedown. And now with 40 seconds, this is where Peyton Rob is really, really good in that top position. He'll mat return you all day, and a lot of credit there for Frannick to get that quick escape. That's a big deal, that was critical. Inside of 30 seconds in a one-point match. Watch your hands. Those quick escapes, huge. Shot from Frannick, straight on shot, no angle. Come on! Center! Rob will have the Go choice on, in the third period. Yeah, very seldom in a matchup like this will one takedown win it. And here you'll see the reaction from his girlfriend, Taylor. The reaction with a takedown. Nice job there in that low single. Then he takes that right arm, cuts across, sets Fr uh, Frannick down for the three points. There's Good. Taylor. Set. Cover. Taylor and his mom, Carrie, dad, Tracy, yeah, yeah. saying, keep him down, Improve keep him what? down. Quick Improve. stand up. And Rob with the escape. Now leads it four to two.
How big, like you said, was that quick escape by Jared Franick right there in that uh, second period. Puts him in a position for a takedown to win it. So you got to win two or three times in these matches. I mean, you don't win with one with one move. You got to win two or three times. All those little things on, add up to the big wins. Right into that chest lock. Come on, work here. Yeah, these two met last year to open up this season in a dual meet with Nebraska and North Dakota State. Rob won that match 7-4, and then at the national tournament to end the campaign, 3-1. Frantic, your winner in sudden victory. Just over a minute left in the third. One takedown in the match, hey, scored by the Cornhusker Rob. Frantic times it well. Now a single leg, and he's in his best position of this match. Really important to come up. Nothing. Oh, nice job. Kicking away. And he's going to take that all day. I mean, that's a stall warning, and Rob will take that. Both have stall warnings, 50 seconds. A lot of time to wrestle here. You got to go now if you're Frantic. He does. Double leg attack from Frantic. And Frantic gets his first takedown of the match, and it's a one point lead for the Hawkeye. Down to 35 seconds. Couple of really good attacks there from Frantic. He capitalizes on the second one. We're down to 25 seconds. He got to come up because he cannot take a stall call. Frantic will go to overtime. Out of bounds, back to the center with 16 Let's go, seconds. Let's go. Frantic was able to find another gear with those last two attempts. The crowd comes out of their seats, trying to get behind Peyton Robb. 16 seconds, an escape would send it to sudden victory. Riding time and on factor. One. One. Frantic does a nice job to work up inside of 10 seconds. And Jared Frantic comes into Lincoln and rallies back for the 5-4 decision. Jared Franick remains undefeated, now 15-0. And Peyton Robb has suffered back-to-back -back losses.